Welcome to our latest MicroAgent tutorial. In this guide, I'll illustrate how to call and use storage functions. If you'd like to follow along, ensure your environment is set up. And if you're unsure how to approach that, feel free to check out one of our earlier Getting Started tutorials. The goal of this guide is to create a MicroAgent which gets a value from the storage every second. That value will be printed incremented by one and put back into the storage. To start with, we want to import the agent and context class from the microagent framework. We then proceed to create our first microagent. We give our microagent a name and a seed phrase. Since we want to ensure that our agent's logs are method every second, we'll use the onInterval decorator to achieve that. A period of a second. In this tutorial, we'll showcase a collection of methods, namely the storage get, the storage set, and the context logger info methods. The onInterval method takes a context object as a parameter. The context object contains a storage attribute which is used to store and retrieve data between method calls. In our example, the onInterval function retrieves the current count from the storage attribute using the context storage get method. It prints increments by one and stores the updated count back in the storage attribute using the context storage set method, which we'll use in just a moment. Right now, we want to ensure that everything is logged, and in order to achieve that, we'll use the context logger info method. And now it's time to use the context storage set method, which is going to allow us To store the new value, in this case, our incremented value. So now let's run our program. As you can see, we've created a microagent who is incrementing a value and printing the new value once it's incremented. Thank you for your time and have a great day.